Okay, let's see how we can use vlogger to create key loggers that disguise in many file formats like Word documents, Adobe Flash Player, um, PDF documents. So basically, you can send those files in the form of um, document files. So you can trick the victim into opening the file and then you will have their keystrokes developed to your email address. So basically, in this example, I'm not gonna uh, use a real email address for this because as you can see here in the following um, minutes that my email address uh, cannot be um, a good example for this you know because it has uh, some sort of two-factor authentication in the email and in order to enable this on your email address you have to enable the secret application let's see how this works so first let's list the files Mm, okay, now let's run our file, which is B. Okay, we type K and then we choose our preferred file format. I'm gonna choose PDF, which is the number five. Then here you're gonna have to type your email address. Okay, I'm gonna use an example for this. Okay, example and it must be gmail okay otherwise it's not gonna work if you use hotmail uh, yahoo any other ser any other uh, email services it's not gonna work you, ha you just have to use um gmail so gmail.com now on your own risk you're gonna have to type your password in order for the script or the program to deliver you the keystrokes that's gonna capture or catch once it's installed on the targeted system so you're gonna type an an, an arbitrary password example and click on type yes so here I'm gonna have to wait for the program to create my own um, supposedly PDF file that has the key structs or key capturing functionality within it so we're gonna have to wait for this to finish let's make sure our victim machine is working well and here now the file will be stored in destination here okay now the file has been finished here okay rename you can rename the file whatever you find appropriate for this i'm going to type example pdf I'm gonna, okay now it's okay rename so take this here now let's suppose that the victim is okay let's copy this to our web server here and let the victim browse to our machine or to the URL of the file so it can be downloaded okay now click on save to save the file click on save okay as you can see here the the file cannot be open because it's not a pdf file now now after you uh, send the file to the victim you make sure that your email address you receive the email messages or you receive the messages from the program about the um, keystroke that have been captured by the email okay so after that let's play the victim here and see how we can detect those instances or see how we can detect as a victim that we have downloaded a malignant file so let's browse to our terminal okay let's see the running process here and grip example which is an name with a file 
okay now as you can see here that the file is being run on the machine with a PID of 4991 okay so let's see what are the open files or the files that ha that are being used by this PDF file LSOF and this is very useful when you are doing investigation or forensic investigation to see, to see what are the instances that are being used by the malicious file the PID is 4901 and you see here are all of the opened files or the files that are used by the malicious file here those are all the open files and one of them is I can see here it's trying to open a socket here to send the connections or the keystrokes keystrokes for example here I'm not typing any keystroke here let's type some keystroke here to see what's gonna happen uh, Uh, cancel okay now let's gonna type some text here and let's see again the PID is for nine As you can see, it's trying to open connections here, sockets. But unfortunately, the email address that I have typed is not valid. So if I typed here netstat minus a, you can see all the established connections. And let's look for the connection that the file is trying to open. But we will not find anything here because the file is or having an un unvalid email address that we have typed so here all we have to do after you identify the file in the running processes tree all you have to do is killing the file okay and killing all of the associated connections here okay so here you can see the PID of the processes um, sorry here you can see the all of the connections or that are being established also I have to kill the connection here in this instance all I have to do is let's run EF again and all I have to do is killing the file and the file has been closed let's see what are the open let's see the files that were being opened by the process ID let's make sure okay let's make sure that the file has been closed again by running the same command okay now the file has been closed let's see the opened files for one okay as you can see here the files which have been opened by the PDF file now um, are not appearing in the list here because the file has been I mean the process has been killed so you will do so if you find any connection that's being established by the file so that's it here I'm going to close this and thank you for watching